Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever on the North Atlantic map. And here's the thing, friends, is the North Atlantic is the star of the show. And I've, you know, I've, it's not that I've, I've kind of taken my, uh, taken my eye off that particular ball. Uh, it's more that, you know, I've so desperate have I been to, to try and get revenues running that I, I have maybe neglected the North Atlantic. Now, we have, uh, hold on, I'll quickly pay that back before the end of the month. Ha <laughs> ha, I will run a deficit. Um, now, we have uh, done shipping in the past, and uh, yes, it is the least profitable thing we do, but it will become, gradually, I'm convinced of it, it will become uh, a more valuable asset in the uh, the failure transport uh, kind of setup, um, particularly as ships get faster and... and as luck would have it, it looks like we're going to have a, a first generation passing a second generation ship on screen now. I, you know, that's that, how magical is that? Um, it's, okay, it's not especially magical. It's, you know, there's, there's some magic in there, just not a great deal of it. So uh, I'm going to start out today by by talking through uh, a few of the things that uh, that I have planned. And uh, and hopefully you'll go, ah, I, I see what you're thinking there. I, I approve. So, stay tuned, and we'll see that happen. So, as you can see, we are hauling it at, uh, at, at very high speeds, at almost 14 miles per hour. Those of you with a uh, kilometers per hour bent will, uh, will be rewarded, as the next episode will be back in KMH. Um, I, don't, I like to keep it mixed. We like to mix it up. Uh, you know, if, if you want to get all if you want to get all political about your your, your measurements of uh, of velocity, then uh, don't. Uh, anyway, yes, we are carrying one whole passengers um, into uh, into New York, and uh, you know, there's a couple waiting. And I've I've played forward by three or four years, and uh, and the numbers do build up. I have actually done something relatively sensible, and and the the numbers will start to go up. Uh, but we've got a few changes to make in the short term. The first of which is on the uh, the good old uh, USA North American uh, main line here. This is Train One. It's a it's a bold old adventurer is Train One, and and what it's currently serving to do is is hold up all of the uh, all of the high earning high speed trains. I've got on this track. Now, historically, what I might have done would be to uh, to take out a loan the size of my own head and uh, uh, an endeavor to uh, upgrade this to the latest tech. And while that's not a bad idea, what you're talking about is an investment. Let's, let's follow along closely, shall we? Look, I mean, look at that. Look at that. It looks magnificent when it's this old. Um, yeah, and, and uh, uh, while that is a profitable way to go, you're talking about a uh, a seven million dollar plus investment, and even with the profit they can bring in, you're talking about five, six, seven years before uh, before it's paid for itself. After which, you're into pure profit. So we don't want to have to wait that many years before we're into pure profit. I'm going to get. I'm going to let you uh, give me some money, and then I send you to a depot because we're going to sell it. Uh, yes, yep, selling it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to run with one fewer train, um, even though that may reduce our, our capacity. The fact that the high-speed stuff can then, you know, get to work should mean that we actually make more money. Yeah, I know. Fewer trains, more money, despite everything being at capacity. No, no, get your head around it. Um, a bit, also, before we press on, uh, I've got a few uh, a few minor upgrades to do here. Uh, or have I? Yeah, your passengers. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, set wagon. Oh, going with the Mac. Yes, do it. Uh, I've got a few of these to do, so, you know, it's it's riveting stuff, as I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, and, uh, and we'll go through it together, because I don't like to deny you any of the riveting stuff. Uh, stick that up there as well. Might as well get Chicago, you know, fully attuned to the, the latest developments in road transportation. Uh, where else have we got potential upgrades? Uh, the Nantes could possibly be upgraded to the land hour. 
Now this is, you know, this is small. This is this is small details compared to the uh, the overall, the overall scheme of things. Twenty five percent that. Let's get that rolling as well. They're they're obviously going to clutter up the screen for a bit. You haven't finished. Turn that on. There we go. We've got two there that need doing as well. Uh, what our tails have we got? Oh, hold on. No, we only did one on, in nonce. Let's get the other one going at 25%. Here, you can sit that over there. And if any of these upgrade in the near future, I, I'll be, you know, moderately pleased. Um, because this is all about, you know, getting people to... to no, you've, you've, you've underwhelmed yourself there, son. Uh, you want to do a bit of that? A bit of this? There you are. Uh, this is all about pass getting passengers where they need to go quicker, and obviously hauling more passengers leads to bigger of the bucks, uh, which is the other thing that uh, that we're chasing after. I, I, you know, a little bit of capital outlay is uh, is no bad thing if the end result is uh, is you know a bit of positive in terms of cash. Now that's now occupying half the screen. And actually, the Landauer is not what we want. We want that ugly bus thing. Whatever the hell it's called. Uh, replacement. Chair sent the vehicle. Ugly bus thing. There we go. Like, like that's going to make a difference. Um, okay, right. So, I'm going to walk you through a bit of the plan if you can see any of the screen. Let's, get the, let's line these up along the bottom. I want to keep an eye on it so that I can turn the 25% off as soon as possible. Uh, and the, the easiest way to do this, of course, will be to... Uh, engage the afterburners and uh, and just deal with that as we do. But instead what I've decided is we'll, we'll see if we can just thrash the hell out of me frame rate to make this a really pleasurable viewing experience for you. Uh, right, here's the scheme. Now, uh, the Atlantic, as mentioned, is the star of the show, right? Because there's a hell of a lot of it. I, you know, I really can't emphasize just how much of it there is. Uh, Miami to somewhere would seem to be a would seem to be a win. Although we've got you know we've got this here, and while you'd have to go round the bottom of Miami, that might be yeah, okay. Well, you know, we'll ponder that for for later adventures. Um, yeah, uh, the, transportation of stuff across the Atlantic is going to be a, a kind of a big feature in the series. Um, we just have to make it profitable as well as uh, a big adventure. Oh, what have you got here? No, wrong vehicle. Ugly bus thing. That's what we want there. Deary me. Oh, well, I've, I've hosed that, I suppose. Still, I noticed it. You know, that, that in itself is a rarity. Um, and, uh, and to get started with that, I'm looking at this oil setup that we've got going on here. It is working okay. No, it's, it, actually, it's working maximally effective because, you know, we're hitting almost 100% of the fuel demand for Port Nelson. The downside is that Port Nelson doesn't actually demand very much fuel. Ho-hum, such is life. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think we can do better. We, can, well, I, I know we can do better. And that means uh, building up extra demand. And the demand in question, we're going to build using the sea. Well, it's, it's like I, you know, intended it to be this way having led to it. And the first route I'm going to set up, I've considered doing Dublin, Edinburgh, both of these are good routes. Uh, Copenhagen, also a good route. Um, and this is down to the, the proximity of the uh, of the city to the to the coast itself. And before everybody starts going, well, Copenhagen's nowhere near there, you kind of go, yes, I know that. Uh, but, you know, it's an approximation. This is an abstract map. It's a, it's a leaning toward, stop fighting me, okay? We're, we're just, we're going to do this. Um, so, you know, be calm. Um, yeah, so Tromso is the first one I want to do, um, and then possibly Edinburgh as well. But we're going to we're gonna ship uh, ready-made fuel. We could, uh, there's, there's another one there. Look. Actually, no, uh, what I want, because what I want to do is I want to m get this really ramping up. And the plan is we stick a docks on here to, uh, to transport the fuel out, and... Uh, uh, the truck system that we're already running to take it to the refinery will bring effectively loot both ways, which is, as you know, the best way to make a, a shed load of cash out of your trucking. Why am I losing so much money? What have I bought? I bought a road. Vi oh, we bought some ships. We bought. I uh, bought eight hundred thousand quid's worth of ships. 
Good. Right. Well, you know, we're, we're talking about shipping. You may you may feel a little reluctant about it, but you know that's the that's the theme of the episode. So stay strong and uh, and muscle through. I can't. I want to get all of this stuff. You know what? I'm just going to close all of this, and I'll I'll check back in on it later, so that we can you know actually see the game running rather than a whole bunch of flipping windows. Meanwhile, the train's arrived. That's good. We can flog that. Get out of it. Right, and that that will uh, up the profit on the North American line. There's another slow. Uh, maybe two slow services on that line as well that I could get rid of, but let's not get carried away. Uh, right, I'm going to up the tempo a little just to, just to move things along for a moment, um, uh, and then we'll start looking start looking at ports. Now the tricky thing with the ports, after selecting the right one, is uh, is getting them aligned with something you can actually use. By which I mean, if we uh, if we zoom in just a touch here, I'm not going to place it just yet. We're, well, firstly, I'm going to cache, but uh, secondly, uh, you'll you'll see what I mean. I am I am illustrating here. We will get uh, see. Look, they are two six two. It's not the cheapest I've ever built. Two three two. All right. Now, if we zoom in on, thank you. Yeah, moves around as we do it. There we are. I'm perfectly illustrated. You can see that it's. That it's actually doing, uh, you know, enormous amounts of uh, environmental reshaping in order to fit there in the first place. Now, that's there's a certain amount of inevitability to that, uh, but it means that connecting the road up is going to be tricky. Uh, let's plonk you in, right? So connecting road up going to be tricky. Uh, let's keep the speed on for the moment. I don't want to keep the speed on, but I'm going to need the cash coming in. I will obviously take out uh, further exhaustive loans. Is exhaustive the word you want? I, I was probably thinking exorbitant. Um, but, you know, exhaustive runs to the same kind of same kind of idea. And as you can see, it's costing me 265000 to to build just this little bit of road that runs gently up to there. Half a million quid they want to charge me for that. Now, I don't really want a tunnel. Yes, yes. Um, what I would sooner do is do this as as cost effective as possible, but that's that's not going to happen, and that and that's down to the the design of the map. Um, is uh, is that it doesn't doesn't really want to be friendly. So the good news is that the the fact that there's a tunnel possibility or that the slope is incredibly steep, let's say, is actually not that big a deal. Yes, because we'll place the uh, as as is so often the way. I'll place the um, uh, the the depot, the drop off. I'll place that as cl as far away from the port as possible, while still enabling the port to work. There we go. And as you can see, every time a, a train comes in there, it's making enough cash that I can I can get stuff done. We don't we don't need a hump in the road. To be honest with you, don't don't need it. No. Let's just do a little bit like that. There we are. And then uh, something straightish. There we are. Marvellous. Now, we can upgrade that to be faster later on, but right now we've got nothing roadworthy that uh, that will actually uh, uh, that will actually make a difference uh, in terms of speed there. We need one of these. We need one of those. And we want this as close to the port as it has to be, but no closer. And the way you see that, I go through this every time, but it's still, it's worth bearing out is is that, you know, you need to have the port roads, the roads on themselves lit, as they are doing there, in order for it to fit properly. Now that's 250 grand, which is expensive. I could do a bit of a smoothing job on there. Well, let's see if we can get it in any cheaper. Let's slow the game down. 250 grand all in versus uh, let's drop the size of that, drop the, the height of it. There's right, that's 114 we spent there. Now I could go for the smoother, but uh, instead 114, 240 grand. So actually allowing the port, the the the, the bus stop to the truck stop to to smooth itself. Uh, 
is no more expensive. I could spend more time on that, though. You know, I could I could do more than just go, wallop, see, didn't. Oh, here we go, saving a bit of money. We'll take it. Uh, so, yeah, basically saved about uh, about 10 grand on that one. Perfect. Uh, flipping in, that just cost me 800 grand to go through the end of the year. That's that's excessive. What did we make last year? Not a massive amount, but I did spend a million on construction. So all told, probably a million in uh, in profit. I've seen worse. Right. Okay. So good. So that's that's one end of that setup. We're not going to talk roots just yet because we have to go and do the same thing at the other end. Um, now Tromso. Let's have a look at the old uh, the old uh, Zonatron. Now the the zone that makes sense is this the way is this 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 lot here isn't it um, and uh, and it's now a question of where oh where does one stick a port now if we look at the bank you'll see why it's going to fight me given the opportunity to to set anything up here and actually as we move further south it gets worse not better although. Let's do a speculative uh, medium country here that does that. I'm not going to. I'm not buying it. Now, given that the road the other end cost me uh, a million or so, right? Is that going to get low enough down? One wonders. I would guess not. And we want to keep it relatively close to the close to the coast. So I think we'll. Uh, the reason I think this is because I've already done it, but uh, what we want is we want to place... See, look, further... I mean, as much as you can't place one inland there, the amount of the amount of digging it has to do, because obviously it tries to place the, the port side of things uh, on the... Uh, uh, on the... the on, on sea level. Uh, what if we... Uh, what if we come this way just a touch... Maybe we'll get some goodness. If I've just got the money, we can place this, and then everything will be splendid. Will it be splendid? Give me some. Give me some splendid here. That that would be a thing that that would be good. Potentially, what I should probably do here is is up the tempo again. But I'm I'm reluctant to do so, having selected a location. But obviously, upping the tempo is a thing that we need to do. Obviously. No, no, there we go. There you go. Right, you got the cash. Slow it down again. Right, good. Uh, actually, we're right at the end of the month, so the game is about to whip all that cash off. I don't want to take out a loan just yet. I'm prepared to do so, but only to put kind of finishing touches on stuff. And I'm going to spend three quarters of a million on an oil tanker. Uh, let's go there. Right. There we go. We've got that built. And then... Uh, once again, fight the fight the road system. See, that's another half. Of, oh, yeah, okay, right. Well, in next case, it is worth taking a tunnel. Maybe it's worth taking a tunnel because that's the other thing. Is if I haven't got room to actually place a uh, a cargo drop that that meets up with the the port itself, then all is lost, friends. You know, we are we are doomed in that eventuality. I uh, see. I like that. That looks all right. We'll take that. And then uh, it looks all right. I'm going to have to do some more smoothing to get my uh, my truck stop in there. One building will be removed. I'll take it. And the, the the reason for doing so is I want to route through over here. I'll probably take out these two buildings as well and try and build on the corner of here to get maximum coverage over the uh, over the industrial area. All right, we've got over a million now. I'm I'm pausing. That's that's how convinced I am that this is the way to go. Right, he rattled. Th that's that's yes. Yeah, see, look, one building will be removed. One hundred eighteen grand, worth it. Expensive, oh yes, but worth it. Uh, run that round there, and then a little further. And obviously, because we're going to be dropping off uh, industrially, uh, industrially desired goods. The hope is that this will generate some industrial building along the uh, along the cliff top here. Um, I've seen it happen; it does work. Uh, it's just a question of uh, of when the game decides to play ball. Right now, 
Let's look at coverage here. We're not getting any coverage on the other half. Minor coverage on the other half versus yeah, there's not a there's not a lot in it. I think there's more room to expand if we go over this. I'm not going to remove any buildings if I can avoid it. 150. And actually that's one of the cheaper cheaper costs I've seen as well. 140 some odd. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Well. That hits a fair bit of industrial. Uh, so we'll take that. And then we've just got to get another truck stop over here. Which is, you know, is clearly, clearly going to fight me. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna fight every step of the way, that one. So I might have to do some some pre smoothage. Oh, hold on, nope, we're there. Do you have port coverage? Yes, you do. Okay. Can you do it cheaper if I give you some? Oh, yes, you can. Uh, I think we got the sweet spot. We're in the 140s there at some point. There we are. 140, 138, 137. And we've got port coverage. Take it. There we are. Right, smashing. So we can now go routes uh, in that in that way that we do. Uh, let's go for upper Tromso to a bit more Tromso. And this is going to be, I'm feeling TRM for Tromso, uh, followed by whatever the heck this is going to be fuel. Uh, and that will, that will do it. All right, smashing. Uh, the other thing, of course, we need here is uh, a... Uh, one of these uh, a, a truck depot and we'll, we'll build this out in the middle of nowhere partly because it'll be you know cheap uh, but also that way it won't get in the way and I don't need these operational immediately 16 grand later enough by let's go with two now I'm gonna set these up uh, and I'm gonna set them running uh, but let's you know let's not kid ourselves here uh, these are going to be incredibly unprofitable to start with because there is uh, there is no fuel to be picked up and it's going to remain that way for quite a while but uh, having having run fuel lines in the past uh, a full container ship or even a, a near to full container ship makes a heck of a lot of money it just doesn't make it very often it easily covers its costs but it tends to be once every couple of years so there you go how's that for a route that's that's pretty splendid. Um, right, this is going to be uh, wherever we are. Uh, Port Nelson, which is P R N, no jokes. Uh, to Trom. So is that? Did I? I did decide on T R M. Uh, uh, bulk fuel. Bulk fuel. Excellent. And then the final piece of no. There's there's. Oh yeah, there is. There's one final piece of this puzzle, and that is from Port Nelson to a bit more Port Nelson. And uh, that's going to be uh, the uh, PRN fuel shuttle. Now, this is not going to pay off even slightly until the first time the, the container ship, has, the, 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 the tanker has hit both ends. Uh, so you know there is a there's going to be a bit of a time lag in between setting this up and it actually working, um, but you know we'll, we'll we'll just deal with that. That's that's something we're just going to have to ride through. I'll go with two of them for now, but we'll add more if the demand decrees that we should. PRM fuel shuttle. There we go. Right. Okay. And then the last thing to do is actually buy a ship. Now I've got six hundred grand and that's not going to cut it. Also. Where's the the port itself is all the, the shipyard is all the way down in Toulouse, which is off the beaten track. I, I think given uh, Great Britain's brave and noble nautical history that uh, that we should do something out of Southampton uh, or thereabouts. See, covering yourself with a or thereabouts there. 100, 100 grand, no, 90, 90 is good, 90, yeah, ish, can we get 40, yeah, no expense spared, 15,000, there we are, that's going to be the, uh, the, the shipping creation, um, and I realise that might be Southampton, might be Portsmouth, might be anywhere, 
uh, if the Isle of Wight was present, I might be able to navigate it a little better. Anyway, we want a Vandal. Uh, 786,000. This I will borrow money for. Uh, and let's uh, let's set it in motion. Uh, buy one. Uh, thank you. And we will set that onto the bulk fuel. Now, this is going to take all several exciting minutes, uh, possibly even 20, before it actually... You know, kicks anything into gear. So, uh, so what I'll do is I need a I need a name for this. This is going to be the uh, the CMS uh, bad company. There we are. Uh, uh, London shipyard. No, uh, what should we call? It? Let's call it uh, Portsmouth and Southampton. And which has only got one H in, if I recall correctly. Portsmouth and Portsmouth in Southampton. There we go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can all complain about that. Uh, splendid. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's get a roll in. The maiden voyage of uh, of the uh, of the bad company. Come on, there, big beast. Let's go. Now, the rest of the... Uh, the uh, if you say so. Uh, if the, the rest of the line, uh, the lines that, uh, that interlink with this fine, fine, fine vessel um, are going to be just costing me money. But, but I'm a believer in, in setting it all in motion and then waiting for it to take off. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll just settle for that and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna. What I'll do is uh, I'll wait until this line kicks into gear, uh, and then we'll pick up our progress next time around at that point. So thank you very much for watching today. I have been Colonel Failure. Uh, throw a like at this one if you like all things shipping. If you don't like all things shipping but found this to be mildly diverting, then press the like button. Basically, just press the like button. And uh, subscribe if you've not yet done so in order to be regaled with further adventures. And uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.